This is the last thing I needed today, out of all days. Alright you guys, welcome to today, today's video on Marksville. I was going to do some planting, finish off all our planting for our cornfields, but that's not going to happen today. It's covered in rain and I don't want to sit outside any longer, so let's get in the truck. As I said to you guys last episode, I built this little seed, this little seed shelf silo area. I don't really know what we want, what we should call it. However, I also said to you I was going to build another one. And since you were last here, I've built a long road covering all our fields at the back and a little building which you can see in the distance there. And it's going to be more like a remote centre for repairs, fuel, seed, a bit of everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to back up to this just here and we're going to need to bring that back. Let's just quickly get rid of water drive. Oh, there we go. We should get something. Here we go. So I'm just going to take all the seed out going to head straight down there and we're just going to put it in there and I'm going to show you exactly where it is because the seed is ready to go so as soon as it stops raining and it dries up a bit we can get going but just at the minute it's it's just too much rain we're not we're going to get stuck in the field to be honest with you so I feel like we're best doing some other jobs around the farm while we wait for it but as always guys if you guys do enjoy these videos drop a like and subscribe just so I know you're enjoying them However, we need to tuck in here. There's a little entrance here. Here we go. And then, essentially, from there, all it does is wrap all the way around this grass field, which we're going to make good use of very soon, because obviously we're going to need to get hay for the cattle. And that's going to be one of the places we use. And I'm thinking field 27, which is a little small field we've brought out on the road. I might change that to grass, so we can get that done once we've got all of our planting done uh, for the year. Well, not for the year, at least for corn. And then we'll be good to go. However, here is the brand new little setup. So we've got a little few. You know what? Let me get parked up. We'll get this unloading. And then I'm going to take you guys for a little quick tour around here. It'll be more of a pit stop tour, I guess you could say. Let's have a quick look. There we go. Let's get that unloading. Oh, that's covered in mud already. But as you can see here, we've got a little shelter here with a light on just for this area here so this area is going to be just seed fertilizer we're going to probably store it all here because it's a bit more centralized to our fields it's more useful here so once we get rid of this one we'll take down the old one and maybe use it for maybe part storage etc however diesel here so when we're combining throughout the year and doing field work we can come and refill there and a nice little repair shop just to keep the vehicles up to date if we have any breakdowns in the field i can tell them back here and we can get a bit of work done then which I think is going to be pretty good. However, we need to go back and get the fertilizer now. So let's quickly head back. I'm going to do it all over again. However, let me get this done. And then hopefully, sooner or later, we're going to have a bit more sunshine because we really need to get planting. Um, we need to have a look at getting another kind of... Well, not another. We need to get a crop that we can put straw down. I'm thinking oats might be our best bet. Just kind of for the return of them money wise so I feel like we might look to do oats as well on just one field but we're going to need to do it so that we can make that money back so we're going to have to do that and then obviously as planned I did say last episode this was going to be a cornfield the one we're looking at now it's not going to be a cornfield it's going to be soybeans but it was corn so that's now going to be a soybean field which is why we had to plow it and then the big middle one up the back here let me quickly show you Oh, let's quickly get that to save. So, field 6 is now going to be soybeans, same as field 16. And then we're going to have 5, 7 and 17 are all going to be corn this year. And field 8. No, sorry, let me start again. 5, 7 and 8 are going to be corn this year. Field 17, however, is going to be the oats. So, we're going to put oats in that field edge so we can get a bit of straw for the year, which I think will be enough. And... I'm hoping it's going to be all, all, all okay, really. Um, I think that we're looking for quite a productive year this year when it comes to crop. Just just looking at it from a glance. So, ooh, this is really bumpy. Hopefully that's in a good spot. There we go. 
let's get that loaded up but I think that's a good spot and I also want to talk to you guys about some of the videos we've been doing recently the farm builds I know some of you guys have been enjoying you guys have been hitting the likes on them as well I also wanted to know what you guys thought of the maps we're also going to be coming up with a new idea for the farm build series we're going to have a two part video for this week and next week and it's going to be on a map that I think you guys might enjoy uh, it's going to be a lot more creative in what we're going to do with it we're going to kind of I wouldn't say run wild with it, but we're going to see kind of how creative we can get. We're not just going to be building a farm, let's say. Um, for some of you guys in the Discord, you'll know what I'm already going on about. So if you haven't already, make sure you're in the Discord, because that's where it all happens. And for some of you guys as well that do YouTube as well, a bit more than welcome to post your YouTube videos in there. It doesn't have to just be farm sim, so I'm all about helping everyone else, and we all get to grow. But let's quickly get this fitting. what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this and then I'm going to hopefully have a bit of sunshine later on without the rain and we can get a bit of planting done so I'll talk to you in the afternoon alright you guys it's looking a lot sunnier out now I've just come out to clean off the truck because the rain didn't get rid of all the dirt so I'm just cleaning this little bit off and then we're going to get straight into the fields so let me put that's all good what we're going to do is we need to find a spot to park this and I feel like over here is going to be the best point. Get it under a bit of shelter and we should be all good. So let's quickly get that out of here. Oh, need a little bit more space. Let's pull that back a bit more. Here we go. Right, that's all good parked up. I think that's a good little home for it. It's just the odd jobs we're going to need around the farm really. So let's go back and get our thing, thing our tractor and cedar out. But I'm just going to lock these gates for now. And then we're going to go get straight into the field. Let's quickly jump in the tractor here. Ooh, I'm doing everything wrong today. Right. Now, this, this exit's really tight. Ooh. Let's have a look. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Now, I've got to be careful because it's articulated. I don't want to oh, already break and stuff. I might move that further up. Yep, I've broken it. There we go. We're all good. Right, that's all good. Let's head straight into the fields. Now, guys, let's get a nice little time lapse going. And let's go and get some farm work done. Catch you all very soon.
Alrighty guys, that's us all done there. Literally there was just a tiny little bit left, which <laughs> was actually really annoying. It's just that one little bit that was left there, but that's all done and it took a lot longer than I expected. I didn't think it would take as many real refills as it did as well. So that's a bit of a shame to be honest. I kind of thought it would be a bit better, but either way, at least it's done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the last cornfield done off camera. So the next episode we can focus just on the soybeans, getting them all done and then planting all done. I was considering doing the oat field, but we just can't do it because of our cedar. So I might get someone in to do it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. Maybe we can get one of our friends in to help out with it, but we'll have a little look. We'll see what we can do for that. However, that is going to be everything for today, guys. So I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you're enjoying it. And also if there's certain things you want to see. Oh, I've done I've done it literally the same as last episode, haven't I? I bet it's the exact same tree as well. <laughs> I need to move this road out a little bit, I think. Or oh, just get rid of that tree. Might be my best bet. Oh my. This wasn't meant to happen. It's like I wrote it to happen, but I really didn't. Oh my, right, this tree, getting, we're getting rid of this tree, one second guys, where's, where is it, where is it, where, where's the culprit, can we even get rid of this, the heck, we, we, we can't get rid of it, right, well, that's going to be another problem to do after the episode, however, that's going to be everything today, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.